you know that you can create this thumb paper effect with pixel lab all right you can create it this design was created by Zeno Edu all right and this one was created by Shisom Obona all right using Photoshop all right, okay you can see this effect here this effect this particular effect here that makes this part of the face look um, quite different okay from the rest of the face and this one was created by another designer okay so the same thing so i'm gonna use pixel lab to create this effect right now so let's head on to pixel lab right now so there are many ways to do it some people use the marketing tool but i don't want to go through that method because it's quite difficult compared to this method i'm going to show you now because the thing about design is find what works for you and save your time so i'm going to look for this design right here okay this is a very simple design okay i want to use the design to demonstrate what i want to do right now okay so now you have to finish your design okay this design is done already let me show you something now so i want to go to let me even look for um let me look for something else okay i don't want to take any much time so let me use this one so this design is already here okay so the first thing you want to do is this now this design at the back of this you can see now there's a gray scale there's a there's a the the saturation here is reduced to black and white it's gray all right so it means that you have the original image which is the colored and you have one that is black and white which is the gray scale okay now it means you are going to be having two versions of your design so for the first version of this design we're going to save it right i'm going to save it like this for example i don't want, i just want to save it very fast so i've saved it now it's saving so i'll save that design now look at what i want to do now i'm going to import that design all right i'm going to import that design which is this one here i'll come over here no yeah oh yeah okay then i'm going to change it to black and white so reduce the saturation like this so this one here is where you're going to do the work all right this this way i'm going to do the work of the kind of um you know what you want so you just adjust it the way you want it all right so i want it like this all right this is perfect for me then i'm going to save this one this black and white now i'm going to save it because that's what i'm going to use for the tom paper effect all right so it is saved now that this one is safe i can either there's no need to leave it let me remove it i've deleted it are you getting it now now i can bring in now the tom paper effect watch what i'm going to do now i'm going to bring in the tom paper effect all right so you can download tom paper effect i've used the word several times that tom paper effect you can go to just check online you will see it so this is this is the one i'm going to be using all right so i'm going to just adjust it like this adjust it like this adjust it like this and i'll put it here now for the purpose of the design that's why i'm doing this so i just want to put it there like that all right let me still make it bold, big so i'm aligning it to cover the face like this are you seeing that now so this is it now that you are done with this just the way it is like this this is the position i want it to appear when the design comes when it, when when you want to change it so this is the position i want it to appear so don't move it just go over to your layer then um remove all other element just click go to like this all right just hide all of them and leave only something is not hidden i'm hiding all of them leaving only this guy then i'll come over to this place here all right i'll come over to this oh, sorry come over here let me show you again i'm coming over here now this place here all right i'll go over there and i'll go to I seen that now transparent 
added a noise effect that's why it's not bright so i'm going to remove the noise effect so i'm going to save this guy the way it is like this i will save it as a png without background now that it has been saved the next thing you want to do now is to bring the original design so i'm just going to click back right this is the original design right this is the original design let's go let's go and bring let's bring the original design back um no this one will go out okay what is this one this one this and this no all right okay so this is the original design right remember that we had uh, this guy so now i'm going to go and import the the shape all right this thumb paper effect we just saved i'm going to import it okay don't move it don't drag it like this from this place all right don't drag it just go to right here then go to relative size then increase the first width to 100 all right everything is that position properly are you getting me now so now that is done you come over here now i've selected it now then you can come over here texture come to texture then click texture now you want to add the gray design as a texture click ok how do you see it cool right then you can come over here and add your stroke to it like this okay depending on what you want to add to it and you are good to go can you see how easy it is very very easy straight to the point just follow the procedure i just gave you and then you are good to go no stress this you can apply in any other design so let me show you again let me show you again i'm going to bring this design here all right this design right okay so i'm going to bring in this this one i'm going to do get the grayscale of it right so let me just go over to gallery and bring in um no I'm, I'm gonna bring in this guy here all right i want to show you that you can you can use it do it in any design so i'm going to bring this guy here all right so i'll do this i'll do this i will do this okay all right All right, so see what I just did now. I'm just covering this part of it. All right, then I am going to remove every other guys from here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go like this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and turn, turn. All right, just remove the other guys. This guy can remain remove every other thing that is not supposed to be there remove them okay all right all right so i can even stop there because the other guys will not show i can stop here okay all right then you save save it as a png i have saved it now okay then you can bring these guys just press back then bring in all these other guys Okay, bring them back. All right. Okay. All right. So what what we'll do now is this. I'm going to import this design back like this, which is this one here. All right. Then I'm going to bring in that guy that have been saved so this is it all right then i'm going to increase it remember just drag it like this okay it's done right now next thing i want to do is to bring the grayscale of this particular design so let me just go over to um 
quickly go over to this guy right photos then i'm going to go to pixel lab all right then i'll pick the image and then change it here to black and white all right is it right then i'll click on edit and i'll go to adjust i will just look for saturation okay and then i will just do this okay all right like this then i press done and then i save a copy the copy has been saved now the copy is saved go back to pixel lab click here click um, no not there click texture click on this and click on this original design then do this how do you see that now you can see that it has been fixed so you can come over here now and then just do this all right all right you can see can you see it i hope you can see it all right so thank you for watching to this end i hope you learned something new don't forget to like this video share it with your friends that don't know this trick and then don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in another tutorial my name is nia muda